Guys, I believe there's a huge opportunity in Google this week prior to the earnings announcement. We can make a big profit, and if for some reason the trade does go against us, no problem. We just roll to the next month and we'll profit then. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to make a quick profit with an earnings trade in Google. I answer the questions, is now the right time for an option trade in Google? Is Google poised to skyrocket up or is there a risk of it dropping? How do we sell a put option in Google on the option trading platform? Hey guys, Darren here. We've got a great video for you here today. However, before we get started, if you appreciate the time and effort that goes into making these videos, all I ask is that you please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps out the channel to get the video out to more people. So thank you very much. I think it's really important that we understand the different strategies that the rich are using to get richer. Then we can use those same strategies and tools to profit in any market for ourselves safely. Be sure to download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research and if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. Is now the right time for an option trade in Google? Guys, everybody uses Google, right? Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Cloud. If you need to know something, just Google it. Looking at a five-year chart on Google, you can see the trend line that I drew. I think the 180 stock price that the trend line is pointing to is very conservative. I think it could easily be 190 to 200. Yahoo Finance has Google's target at 152, which I think is too low. They do have both short-term and long-term performance outlook as positive. And you can see the PE ratio is a respectable 29. However, it has been higher in the past. Looking at Google's income statement, we see that revenue has been consistently growing year over year for the past several years. And the balance sheet is clean too, with assets increasing while liabilities are kept in check. So in wanting to place an earnings trade in Google, it would be great to know if the stock price is gonna move up or down after earnings are announced on Tuesday, January 30th, right? Wish I could tell you, there's really no guarantees, but we can do some homework. In other words, is the Google stock price poised to move or not? James Bromley from The Motley Fool wrote an article about two growth stocks that could power the next bull market. He talked about how Google's cloud computing arm and YouTube are becoming huge profit centers. YouTube serves up more streaming content than dedicated streaming players like Netflix and Disney. YouTube accounted for 8.5% of last month's total streaming view time in the U.S. versus 7.7% for Netflix and 4.5% for Disney. My son's on YouTube way too much of the time. 78% of Google's revenue is ad revenue. It has cooled off over the past couple of years with inflation and rising interest rates. However, YouTube's ad revenue of $8 billion in Q3 was up 12% year over year, so it's growing again. And cloud services was up 22% year over year, and ad sales was up 11% year over year. As long as the world relies on search engines, Alphabet's biggest advertising arm will continue to be a cash cow. For me, there are three huge reasons why I'm bullish on Google right now. It's a growth stock and inflation is starting to finally level off, so growth stocks should start to take off. Also, it's business model. They dominate search engine and YouTube and its cloud services arms are starting to kill it and are poised to continue to grow. And lastly, the price is still low in my opinion with a PE of 29 and my longer term target is 190 to 200. So now I'm gonna show how to place a bullish option trade in Google. We wanna sell 
a put option in Google on the option trading platform. We are using the Tasty Trade option trading platform. You can do this on any platform with any brokerage. However, Tasty Trade is one of the best and most intuitive for trading options. These are the guys that developed the TOS Thinkorswim option trading platform and then sold it to TD Ameritrade. TD and Schwab still use this platform to this day. Tasty Trade is even better. Use the link below and you can get cash back when you open an account. I do recommend that you open with around $5,000 so you can place a few different trades. Punch in Google in the upper left while on the trade page and the option chains will pop up. We see that Google is currently trading at $152 and the IVR, which stands for Implied Volatility Rating, is 59, which is pretty high. This means that option prices are high and this is due to the fact that it's just prior to earnings and it'll be released Tuesday after the close. Volatility is high because the price is more likely to move and make a larger move than typical. Let's click and open the February 2nd option chain since it's closest and the weekly option chain that expires on Friday after the earnings. I'm bullish, so I'm going to try and collect quite a bit of premium. Let's click on the bid to sell the 147 put option. We collect $2.05 for selling this option, which is really $205 since one option contract controls 100 shares of stock. Now, if we click on the curve mode while still on the trade page, we can visually see the profit zone in green. As long as we stay above the 147 short put strike, we keep the entire $205 that is placed in our account as soon as we hit the review and send to place the trade. The break even is the 147 strike price minus the $2.05 collected, which is 143.95. So the stock can actually even move down and we still make money. Hey, what if you want to make more than just $205 on this trade? No problem. If you want to go bigger, just increase the number of contracts that you sell. If you sell two contracts, you collect the $205 times two or $410. Now what if the stock price drops after earnings due to missing earnings or revenue or guidance going forward or something else? No problem, just roll to the next month and try to collect more premium. If this does happen, keep an eye out for the next video as I'll likely show how to roll the options to the next month and collect the additional premium while waiting for the stock price to come back. Last thing guys, wait to place this trade until just before the close on Tuesday, January 30th, just prior to the close. That way, you'll be able to make sure that you are in the best position with your puts and you can adjust your strike prior to the Google announcement of earnings after the close on that day. All right, guys, if you're a beginner and this sounded kind of confusing, don't worry. It did for me as well at first. We'll continue to learn and succeed together. I put a link down below for the free options workshop. Remember to grab that. Please hit like and subscribe. Let's get the video out to as many people as possible. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're trading. Ask a question. I answer everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.